What is your Tinder horror story? A little backstory, a few years ago I was dating this girl and her father really hated me. Which was a bit odd as most parents love me, or at least lie about it real well. He was just a huge prick and I always called him on his shit. Anyways, her parents got divorced, we broke up a few months later etc etc. Fast forward to around a year later. Me and girl from Tinder were dating for a few months and things were starting to get serious. We're at the point where she wants me to meet her family. Mother, stepfather, little sister. Why not? I have no problems meeting them, let's do it I said. She told me how excited her stepdad was to meet me as it turns out we both happen to be Kansas City Chiefs fans. Well, duck me if it wasn't the same asshole father of my ex-girlfriend. My buddy isn't the smartest man. He picked a chick up and drove to a motel. They were walking into the room and she says, oh shit, I forgot my purse in the car do you mind if I go grab it? He says, yeah that's fine, and tosses her the keys. Five minutes later he walks outside wondering where she is and his car is gone. Edit, for clarification, yes he got his car back. I think the police found it about a week later. I don't think she was ever caught though. If you're in Baltimore swipe and don't let her near your keys. Auto zoned. Buddy of mine hit it off with this girl and after a few days, she invited him over to a house party. Sure he says, what could go wrong? He shows up and is introduced to a few of her friends, all guys. As the night carries on, more and more guys show up and very few girls are actually at the party. After they start talking about how they all know this girl they find out that she invited them all from Tinder. Every guy was there not to hook up, but to populate this chick's birthday party. Edit, autocorrects from phone. That is so very sad. But also kinda clever. Got a Tinder notification on my phone. Realized I don't have tinder and was holding my girlfriend's phone. Oh shit did you call her out on it? I let the responses I sent to the matches do the calling out. I made her look like queen of the trailer park. Tinder date with a famous chef where I was taken to a dive bar, where he promptly starting talking about how famous he was. We drank and watched sports, he proceeded to tell me you're cute and this eventually went to I am going to make you bleed. He then invited one of his friends to come along. I went outside and he came up to kiss me. I was drunk, so I kissed back. Eventually he proceeded to tell me how he was being charged with battering his ex-girlfriend, but he totally didn't do it. Eventually when it came time to pay the bill, he lost his wallet. Of course, I get stuck with it. I'll pay you back. Needless to say I never got a payment. Then he leaned up against me. I thought he was trying to kiss me again, but I looked down, and he was peeing on me. In the street. Peeing. On. Me. I swiftly, being too inebriated to drive, went and got myself a hotel room and a hot shower. Never again. Started speaking to this guy on Tinder a few months ago. He seemed alright, but not my normal type. Regardless, we started speaking for a couple of days. I didn't realize how stupid I was until now, but I mentioned where I worked. The night I mentioned my workplace, I saw a guy walk past that looked a lot like him. I hadn't met him in person so I wasn't 100%. I forgot about it and a couple of days later, it was quiet in work but my phone battery was low. I said I'd speak to him later before my phone died. K him coming in 10 minutes later with a ducking iPhone charger. Yes, this might have been a nice gesture if you know, I'd actually met him face to face before. This was really weird because he said he lived the other side of the city from where I work. I wanted to cut ties straight away, but I thought I'd return the charger after I finished work. He said he would be in a bar around the corner, so when I finished I met up with him, gave him his charger and made some excuse to go home. To my horror, I saw on his Instagram that he'd taken a smiling selfie earlier in the day with the caption I'm now a taken man, I'd seen him like not even twice. To make it even scarier, for a good few weeks, every time I'd finish work I would see him casually walking past on his own, exactly at the time I finished. Really creeped me out for a while. The only Tinder date I went on, the woman told me her goal was to get pregnant in the next few months. I noped right out of there. Showed up to the restaurant, waited about 30 minutes. Ordered myself some food and was about to leave when he texted me, there's a liquor store across the street from the restaurant, can you pick me up two six packs? I told him I wouldn't. He says he's decided to play frisbee with his dog instead. Deleted app, went to liquor store, picked up wine and went home. 
He texted me for a month or so after to tell me he's just bought tickets to see me dance, I'm a retired ballerina, haven't been in anything for a few years. Then he texts me an hour after and tells me how great I was on stage. I never responded. Dating is too confusing. I'm all done. This couldn't have been asked at a better time. Met a guy on Tinder after ending a six year relationship. He was in his last year of PT school and seemed to have his shit together and was really cool. I made it extremely clear that I was in no hurry to rush into a relationship and that I wanted to take my time get to know him better. We ended up dating some months later. Everything was great. I was actually really happy with him and was going to take him home for Christmas, we had been together about 6 mo at this point. Last Monday, I got a Facebook message from a random girl. She basically said she matched with my BF on Tinder and found his Facebook account. She noticed that his Facebook noted that he was in a relationship with me, so she messaged me to see if we were in a relationship since they had plans for a date that week. She sent me screenshots of all of their conversations. Bless this little Tinder angel's heart for messaging me. Confront BF, go through phone, not like me, find extremely graphic sexual texts between him and at least two other girls besides Tinder girl. BF says he was so insecure and worried that I didn't want to be with him that he wanted this false security. Broke up with him. Got drinks with Tinder girl, we're friends now. Edit, didn't think people would see this so I wrote something quickly. I should add that he was all about me opening up about myself. He also lived in his parents basement, told every girl on Tinder he was a doctor and opened up by asking what hurts and if they wanted a massage. I think the best part was that he was talking to one girl about music and she said she liked Motion City soundtrack. He was like oh. I just saw them a few weeks ago, I bought us tickets and took him. He was missing some minor details. Tinder guy was apparently engaged when we met and while we were dating. Also found out two weeks after the fact, that he got married. We had still been talking every day. And get that golf clap checked. They have a shot for that. Could get nasty. I started talking to this really sweet guy for about two weeks and things were going well. Then I started getting calls from this girl who he claimed was his crazy roommate that was in love with him and kept trying to get him fired from jobs. Turns out, she wasn't the one lying, she was actually his live-in girlfriend, and they had moved here together from a different state. Apparently he wasn't actually a citizen, and was trying to obtain papers. Thanks, Tinder. Met a girl at her work at like, a moment's notice, she was a waitress and there was literally nobody else in the entire place. We talked for a few hours, then another dude shows up. To meet her from tinder she would later blog about the experience and describe me as dull and unattractive she apologized to me the day she posted it no hard feelings i just thought it was a crazy story edit link removed met girl she was quite vocal about no hookups we went out got drunk she used the line wanted to come back to mine and put your penis in my vagina so i did just as we started she said oh i love you i love you do you love me too I didn't reply, I just thought concentrate. Concentrate. It was a good night, but then she got really demanding and argumentative. It takes me a while to get used to starting to see someone, I like to get to know them a bit. She was talking about kids within a day of meeting me and I wasn't quite ready for that conversation. Then she got really shitty that I wasn't as committed as her, called me all sorts of names and said that I shouldn't be on Tinder if I wasn't going to take our relationship seriously. It was a whirlwind. It felt like a year's worth of emotion bundled into about three days. I deactivated my account and stuck with masturbation. There was this guy, he was a solid 10 in his pictures. He messages me, asks me if I want to meet up for coffee, so I say yes. He messages me and tells me that I have to pick him up. Okay whatever, I'll do it. I pick him up, and we decided to go eat instead, he's super funny and cute so we hang out some more after dinner. Then he pulls out his phone and proceeds to tell me that he has a son and his baby mama took off to Washington, but has no idea what part or anything, with him and he hasn't seen him in months. So he then takes out his phone and tells me to go through a folder on his phone of pictures of his son. Like 300 of them. He sat there and made me look through every single one, and he would tell me the backstory to basically every single video and photo in that folder. I felt so bad, but man I was happy when he left. That whole date just got so weird after that. He did some more stuff but those are good stories for another time lol. Edit, I promise you people he was definitely a 10. I showed pictures of him to my friends and all of them said they would date him with the baggage. He texted me like 8 or 9 times every day after that and I never replied. 
I ended up having to block him on all social media because he wouldn't take the hint. Thinking back now. Poor guy. Oh well. I needed a date to pass over dinner with my friends. He wore a vest and a newsboy hat, then introduced himself with a bow and a hat flourish. The night only got worse from there. He refused to eat any of the food because things on the plate were touching, it was ducking soup, and wouldn't shut his mouth during the 12 minutes of Seder. When it came time for his train home he purposely missed it so he could stay the night. Haha <laughs> nope. After a movie with uncomfortable levels of hoverboob, I convinced my friend to come with me to drive him to the nearest train station. During the ride he thought was the best time to tell me he was schizophrenic but didn't take medicine because it was the devil. He tried to hold my hand saying that they were small and made him feel like a pedophile. The night ended with him telling me he was going to shit on the subway and write my name in it. There was no second date. Matched with my cousin. That means your cousin swiped right too. Wincest? Tin breeding. Went on a date with a girl who had already told her whole family about me, before we even met. And she wanted me to meet them in person on the first date. Nope. How old was she? Shitty added to offset it, one and done. I met a guy on Tinder, seemed nice, fairly attractive. Seemed a little vanilla actually. He didn't drink or smoke, wanted to be a meteorologist, was super close with his grandfather, gentlemanly and family oriented. Went to Starbucks and talked for a couple hours, it was nice. So, I set up another date. We went for ice cream and again talked for a while. We were sitting outside and I mentioned something about how guys have obvious spotty parts to be attracted to on women while girls pick out odd things like calves and such. He gets real weird and says I don't know if I should tell you this so of course I prod him until he tells me. So, first he says he's got a foot fetish. That's not super strange and I'm mostly curious so I ask him tons of questions about it. He'd never been in a serious relationship so I ask him if he could handle being with a girl who wasn't into it, at least long enough to feel love towards him and he said no I've called a girl from back pages a couple times cause I couldn't take it anymore. Still not that weird. Then he asks if I have ever heard of a crush fetish. He tells me not to google it because it'll freak me out. Still haven't, never will, there are two levels of a crush fetish. One Latvian lats, becoming aroused watching someone crush invertebrate animals under their feet, like bugs, which was his fetish, and two Latvian lati, watching someone crush vertebrate animals like bunnies or kittens, this got me thinking about our previous date. We had a C conversation on the first date about how I had been getting a lot more bugs in my room that summer and so I'd been like squishing bugs all duck and day. And he said that really got him going. I also realized he had asked me what kind of shoes I typically wear and I had just brushed it off and answered him. I was wearing moccasins and, being a pretty open person, told him how they make my feet smelly so I try to avoid them. He told me that I got really turned on when you said that. I'd love to smell your shoes if you'd let me. Among other very forward, very specific and unwelcome statements about what turned him on about me. Best part. I told him a week or so later I'd met someone and that we should end our communications. He texted me a few months later four or five times asking me for my help and that he'd pay me to let him do stuff with my feet. Edit, corrected misspelling of invertebrate and vertebrate, general clarifications. For those who simply need to know about the duck and bugs. My house is located in the woods, it was summertime, my room is located in the basement, it wasn't an infestation. Just some spiders and the occasional thousand-legger which like to hang out in my bathroom and eat the aforementioned spiders. They had to be squished. Posted this in Tifu but here. This happened over the weekend and I'm still processing it. I, 24M, used Tinder once before and met a cool chick and it didn't work out so I decided to try again, what could go wrong right? So after a few days of using Tinder, I stopped launching the app but left my profile active, so I kept getting a few matches. Well one night my friends and I decide to go bar hopping in a pretty well popular area because why not? We're all pretty smashed at a bar, and I'm wearing the same sweater in my profile picture. Apparently some girl I matched with sent me a few messages, I checked it was 10 within a 2 hour period, and I never responded. She recognizes me and starts yelling at me. Mind you I didn't have any idea what was going on as I'm drunk off my ass. She's going psycho saying WTF the adventuring panda, why did you never respond to me? I responded with who are you? Apparently this drove her nuts. She started yelling combinations of words I've never heard before, then she grabbed my drink and threw it in my face, then security came and threw us both out on our asses. She then followed my buddies and I to the car and is yelling and screaming still. 
While we were driving off she threw her shoe at the car. My buddies were laughing the entire time. I think I'm just gonna stay inside for the rest of my life. TLDR, Psycho Lady ruined the party cause I didn't respond to her Tinder messages. I met up with this guy I had been talking to a few weeks. Tall dark and handsome, originally from Turkey, world traveler, etc. Anyway, we meet up for sushi and things are going great, tons of stuff in common and then it was like a ducking psycho switch flipped. He started talking about how now that we were going out, I couldn't wear nail polish because he got weirded out holding hands with someone who wore nail polish and how he wanted to have a daughter but freeze her in time at the age of 4 so that she'd always be a daddy's girl and love him forever and how when we got told we'd have to have sex with the lights off since I'd be wrinkly and unattractive and just went on and on. I literally just stared at him speechless and tried to get through the date expecting, at the very least, a free meal. But no, no free meal. In fact, more expensive meal. This guy had the nerve to ask the waitress to split the check when he ordered twice what I had. We paid, I stormed out, and never talked to him again. Thanks for listening to another episode of Reddit X. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any stories. Feel free to share your own stories below in the comments. Have a good day.